Hey there, this is Matt with Sunrise Yacht Products. Today we're going to be working on this Fontaine Peugeot Lucia 40 net that you can see behind me here. The boat's a 2020. Uh, it's been in pretty consistent use. It's being used as a charter boat, actually out here in the Seychelles. So pretty heavy UV. Um, and the net at about two years has definitely seen more than it should. So if we take a just a moderately close look at this net, you can see it's in significant need of replacement. Uh, once you see any of these strands breaking like this, the net's overdue for replacement. At any point, someone could put a foot through here. When you get a net from us, you should have a drawing. This is going to show how to lay the net out. It's going to show a lacing pattern. And this is going to show how to match up your grommets here to your lacing points here. This particular one is going to take a double lacing pattern. So here we have the new net just laid out on top. We've cut out the four corners of the old net so we can start tying this one up. When working under the boat, obviously access is a little limited. A dinghy gives a much more stable platform than a stand-up paddleboard or something similar. I have found it easier to tie up your dinghy with the aft end with the motor near the center of the forward beam. See how tight the net is sucked up to the lacing points? It's directly on them. What that means is that this net has actually already stretched so much that it can't be tensioned enough. Uh, you'll find our nets sit about two and a half to three inches off of this lacing point in order to give them room to stretch and room for the lacing to out give proper tensioning. So we've cut the old net out. We have the new net tied up by its four corners and we're going to start with lacing. All right, so we've got our bowline to start. Come through here and we, I like to start by taking it back on itself because what this does is it gives a little bit of compound pulling action. We can then start our pattern, which is going to be through here, through here, through here, and through here. And you'll see that a few times over. It'll start to make a lot more sense here in a minute. From underneath, I prefer to go from the top down through the middle grommet in the direction we're going through the eye down through the next grommet and then back in the direction we're going through way easier in the long run just to run it back through like so to the end of the line just believe me on this you'll get a lot fewer kinks as you're running We finish this with the temporary nut. What I'd like to show you here, this nut is not tied down. It's not even tied anywhere. So you can imagine this is entirely gone. I can still definitely walk all over this nut. It's not going anywhere. It's loose but nothing's at risk. The only dangerous area would be right here. And as you can see, it's not running quick. But it was an easy job, <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> well, it depends how you define easy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say piece, okay? Yeah, yeah. No, because usually the guys that used to put so, some like this. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, yeah, that's because they put crap on there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that falls apart in two years. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah it's true, yeah. Yeah. But that get tear everywhere here. Yeah, you this won't. You would want, yeah. You won't be having that here. Okay. You, you, you manufacture, manufacture uh, this? Yep. yep okay, you're right. Yeah, so. And it's way more comfortable too. Oh, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, yeah. Nice good texture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this the coating on it protects it from UV. Ah, okay. Doesn't get damaged quickly. Right, right. All right, that's cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's different from the other. This other one they have is like a, like nylon. Oh, uh, the the other one might have been nylon. This is a polyester base with a vinyl coating. Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. And we make everything. Right? Right, we make everything, okay. Yeah. From yeah. the sticks? Yep. All right, that's cool. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out right here. Um, you should thank my wife behind the camera right now on our honeymoon filming this. I kind of roped her into it. <laughs> <laughs> An important part of this now is once we have the initial net on, all we're going to do 
this come through and walk all over the net. This gives it some initial break in. It's gonna be easy to find all tensioning once we've done this. So give some good weight, a little bounce. Make sure you hit the corners and the sides. Good jumping jumps. Now we're gonna go underneath and um, do the final round of tensioning underneath and come up and finish the front. Should be right back after that. So backwards. I like that butt. You're welcome. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to my lovely videographer and my new guide. We've come underneath. We're going to be tensioning up the three sides that are hidden by the flange. Of these three sides that we're going to tension from underneath, we're going to start with the port side. It has the largest gap, so we want to get that pulled out first. We put our starting bowline knot for this side here. We're going to start just outside the bowline knot and work our way up using these lacing hooks, which we supply with all of our lacing kits. They make life much, much easier. If you've never used these, the difference is phenomenal. This side is actually loose enough now after walking on it that we're going to do our initial tensioning just by hand and then we'll come back with the lacing hooks. At the end, if you've got the lacing hooks, you need to pull a fair bit out on the line. Just double wrap the handles like so. Use them to get a straight pull from the line. Which we needed in this particular corner to get it to set where it needs to go. So after this round, we're probably not quite done, so we're not going to put a final knot into it. We'll put another temporary half hitch in. This side's done. So you can see the level of tension that we have on the net right now. This is drastically better in terms of functionality than the net was before we got here. We're going to do a little bit of finish work and be ready to go. These slides should be perpendicular. We just start at the end where this is our initial knot. Just gonna start there and just I've got about as much slack as I can use these hook use for these hooks. So I now need to manually walk the tension. Not pulling very hard. Just kind of a reset so that I can use the hooks the way they're designed. And really crank this nut out. Just a temporary lock at the end. So now we can go back to where we were. Finish up tensioning with the lacing hooks. So we've got a little bit of finishing work, which we're going to do by cutting the lines, running about 10 half inches, and then leaving about a foot and a half of line pulling it up and wrapping it with the zip tie, and we're all good to go. I like to finish it up like so with a black zip tie so it doesn't get damaged by UV. Beautiful net, much more functional, drastically safer.